Welcome! This Swell Pro tutorial video presents some precautions that you should take when you fly drones and specifically the Spry Plus for your safety and the safety of others. Prepare for your flight by being aware of local laws and regulations. Check the condition of your drone carefully and read the operating manual thoroughly. You can also refer to our online instructional videos for more information. Before installing the waterproof cover, please make sure that there are no foreign objects on the mounting groove and the cover rubber ring. After installing the waterproof cover, check that the waterproof membrane is in good condition. If the flight will be over water and the waterproof membrane has been damaged, replace it before flight. Check that the remote controller's waterproof joystick and switch covers are also in good condition. Ensure that the remote controller's USB cover is properly pushed in and sealed. When turning on the remote controller, check that the current flight mode matches the conditions. GPS mode is usually recommended. Before turning on the drone, turn on the remote controller. Likewise, when powering off, switch the camera to preview to finalize any recording, then turn off the aircraft and then the remote controller. Each time the flight location is changed by more than 100 kilometers or the aircraft is subjected to large vibrations, the accelerometer or gyroscope and compass need to be recalibrated. See our separate video for details of how to properly calibrate your aircraft. When you need to restart the aircraft, please leave the spry off for at least three seconds before restarting it. To ensure sufficient power and accurate return, please check the battery power and GPS signal of the aircraft and remote controller before every flight. For best results, fly with at least 14 GPS satellite. The Spry Plus remote controller also has a built-in GPS module. The remote controller power button will glow green when there is a good GPS signal. To engage the return home function, press and hold the return switch for two seconds until you hear a tone the aircraft will automatically return to the remote controller position. If the GPS signal of the remote controller is poor, the power switch indicator on the remote controller will glow red and the spry will return to the last recorded return point. When using the return home function, it may be necessary to take over control of the aircraft in some situations. For example, when the aircraft returns and the return altitude is lower than an obstacle or the ground is uneven when landing. Press and hold the return home switch again to cancel the function. Then operate both joysticks to regain manual control. When flying with a good GPS signal, if you need to exit the circle mode or ATTI flight mode, switch the flight mode to GPS to make the aircraft hover. To achieve the best flying and video quality, we recommend flying in calm conditions. Do not fly the Spry Plus in wind conditions above 18 miles per hour or 28 kilometers per hour. During the flight, if the remote controller battery level becomes low, the remote controller will sound a tone. Please return the aircraft as soon as possible. When the Spry Plus battery reaches a low level, 10.9 volts, during flight, the status indicators of the aircraft flash red quickly and the remote controller will vibrate. If the display shows low battery, it's recommended to control the aircraft to return and land. If the aircraft voltage drops to 10.7 volts, the aircraft will begin to slowly and automatically land. If you continue to fly, the aircraft battery may be permanently damaged by over-discharge or the Spry Plus may even crash. After flights in coastal environments or on water, it's important to carefully rinse the aircraft with fresh water as soon as possible. This prevents salt and grit from drying in the drone's moving parts and causing damage. All lithium batteries must be monitored during charging. Do not leave charging batteries unattended and do not charge warm batteries. To extend the life of your lithium batteries, always store them in a cool place 
and do not store them fully charged. It's best to partially discharge the batteries before storing them for extended periods. The 3S battery used by the aircraft should be stored at a voltage of 11.1 to 11.4 volts. The remote controller battery level is displayed in the upper right-hand side of the screen. Store the remote controller with the battery showing half full. When installing the Spry Plus propellers, do not use too much force. The propeller nuts should only be tightened until the propellers cannot be turned on the motors. If you need to charge the Spry Plus remote controller during use, always power on the remote controller before connecting the USB power lead. Thanks for watching.